Christy Kaufman, of Executive Director of Code of Support, has a story to tell us. And if you missed her interview about Code of Support, it's in this playlist on Zenny 62. But without any further ado, for me, uh, Christy, please. Thanks, Annie. So, uh, yeah, I'm the executive director of the Code of Support Foundation, which is a military veteran support nonprofit based in Alexandria, Virginia, but we serve military veteran families nationwide. Um, and, and, you know, I was thinking about a, a story that kind of encapsulates what we do and, and how we reach out to the American public to, um, to support um, the people that, that, that we're working with who's, who really have been um, traumatized by war. Uh, we had a case come in a couple of months ago. Um, actually, it was the mother of a Marine veteran, young Marine veteran, who called and said, you know, her son had finally asked her for help, said that he was suicidal, um, that he was uh, addicted uh, to drugs, and was really, really struggling. He has a young daughter, um, had a fiancé, but he just hadn't told anybody because of that sense of, I think, stigma um, that... that particularly the, uh, the military and veteran community is really battling around mental health. So his mom was obviously frantic, and it, and it was a holiday weekend. I happened to be in the office when the phone rang, and, um, and uh, she said she just didn't know what to do. So fortunately on our team, we have a, a, a veteran peer navigator, someone who's also gone through some challenges around um, coming home from war and, and post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury. And uh, uh, this Marine um, was not willing to talk to anybody except for another veteran. So they started texting. And meantime, I was able to um, work with the mom and the VA to ascertain if there was a bed available for him at the nearest uh, veteran, uh, veteran treatment facility. And um, our peer navigator convinced him to go. I mean, he hadn't, you know, he hadn't been willing to go for years before, but he said, yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go get help. So uh, working with his family, they got him to um, the hospital. But then he stood out there for like two and a half hours with his fiance and with his sister, and he just couldn't make himself go in. Uh, it was just still that, that sense of, of, of not being able to take that step or admitting really that, that he needed help. And so, you know, at this point, it's like 11 o'clock at night, and I said, well, geez, how are we going to encourage him to, to go in and take that step in the door and so uh, we actually took it to our social media platform and we said listen you know no identifying characteristics we just said hey we have a young marine who's who's in trouble and in crisis but has showed courage and he got himself to the hospital he's there with his family who's just having trouble going through the door and man's any within you know an hour we had about 40 messages from americans across the country not just military not just veterans but people that just said thank you for what you did thank you for your service you can do it you're brave i mean it was incredible the outpouring that happened as quickly as that um at night and we were able to get those messages to him um, and to his sister and he saw a couple of them and he walked in the door so it really goes to show you that we all, all of us, all Americans, do have not just a responsibility, but an opportunity to really support this community, regardless of whether or not you wanted this, you know, wanted us to go to war or voted for whom or whatever. I mean, you know me, I went to Berkeley. So, you know, I have my own opinions, uh, political opinions about going to war, not going to war. But as a military wife, I got to tell you, none of that really matters. We went, and this is what we are now left with. And so it is, it is really the responsibility of the entire country to engage, to figure out how they can engage with this community, help this community, support this community. Um, because really, in the end, what we're saying for a lot of families is that war comes home and that we owe it to this community and their service and their sacrifice to, to, to really step up and help out. Wow, that's uh, and don't forget to visit codeofsupport.org. Right? Right. Yes, please do, please do, and and as you as you look at your end of year giving this year, um, uh, please think of us, and uh, we promise you that that any money that we get will help us save more veterans like this young marine. Thanks. Thank you, Zenny.